Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make a redfish leader or you can use this reef to catch redfish and drums, mostly redfish and drums uh, on the surf or at the jetties. So first you will need a pair of crimpers. This is the American fishing wire crimper. I highly recommend a good quality uh, crimp crimpers like this one because uh, some of the cheaper one when you use it over time the jaw will uh, disalign and it will cause a bad crimp so highly recommend this one next you're gonna need a uh, snap swivel so this is a ball bearing swivel connected to a snap right here and this is rated at 70 pounds next up is your main swivel this one is a power pro and it is rated up to 330 pounds you're gonna need some beads right here to attract the fish You will need two crimps. Uh, I highly recommend aluminum crimps for the mono because you can see the wall is really thick. And that is what I like to use for monos. So two of those. And also you can get a brass or copper crimps. Small crimps, doesn't matter. Alright. So two big crimps, so the main crimp and a smaller crimp, okay? But the hole, the size would need to match the mono that you're using. You also need a circle hook. So when the fish grab it, it will just catch on the fish and the fish will set the hook by itself. You don't need to set the hook. And this is a owner owner hook. I think this is owner mudu, and this is size nine art. So the mono that I'm using is actually 150 pounds, and the diameter of this is 1.2 millimeter. So you will need to match the diameter of your crimp, also the smaller crimp. To the mono make sure they are you can fit inside not too loose and not too tight okay let's get into making it so you will need about I would say three foot two two and a half three foot of mono I use a electrical cutter this will give me a clean cut okay like that so I have my mono right here and first you're gonna need the smaller crimp this crimp will act as a uh, weight stop for your for your weight or, or your spider sinker so slide it in right around I would say 10 inches to a foot so about right here okay you put on there so you have one uh, short end and one longer end right here so take your crimp and you will see on the face of the crimp of the crimper you will have the matching uh, size for the crimper so so find the exact size for the crimp that you're using otherwise you will end up with a bad crimp so you crimp it like that give it a good squeeze hold it for a second or two and then let go nice crimp right there clean just one crimp that's all you need all right next we're gonna go up in the main line I mean the uh, the longer the longer end of the mono okay so that's a shorter end that's a longer end okay 
So first you're gonna need one bead, slide it in. It is important that you need to find the bead that will hold, uh, I mean that will, um, uh, that will let the mono slide through. Sometimes the bead, they have the smaller hole, you can't get the, the mono uh, inside of it. So one, I like to use two to three beads on one side because if one break, I still have another one. Okay, so I have four right here, so I'm gonna put it uh, two on the side and two on the other side. Okay, so two beads, and then you're gonna need the snap swivel right here. Slide it on, just like that. Okay and then follow with two more beads. One and two, just like that. Remember, this, this is the short end. This is the longer end, okay? So now we finish with the bead and the snap swivel. Next, you're gonna, you wanna, you want, you wanna get the bigger crimp slide it on okay you take your main swivel the big one uh, power pro 230 pounds put it on there go over and inside the crimp just leave about let's say say an eighth of an inch right there just a little bit that's all you need okay and then you're gonna pull on the longer end Right here, you don't need to pull it uh, all the way close to the crimp, and then you're gonna take your crimp. So this uh, this crimp is 1.5 millimeter. So you can see here is set one to two millimeter. I'm gonna set the crimp in here. I usually give it uh, two crimps because um, I have the longer longer crimp right here. I'm gonna put it uh, at the end first, and then just gonna squeeze it, squeeze it, one motion, squeeze it, and hold it for about two, three seconds, and let go. Okay, and take take a look. I don't crimp all the way at the end because what happened is, you can see the mono. It has some room to move, right? If you crimp all the way uh, to the end, it will it will have sharp edges that will dig into the mono, and you know, by time it's gonna create a soft spot on the mono, a weak spot, and it's gonna snap right there. So you wanna leave it just a little bit so it it will it flare out right here. So you want it just like that. See that? All right. That's one crimp. Same thing over here. Leave it. Leave a little bit of crimp exposed, and give it a good crimp. Hold it. Let go. Now this is a perfect crimp right here. All right. So now we're gonna move to the shorter side right here, short the end of the, the model. Same thing, take your crimp, put it in. Now this time it's your hook, okay? Same thing, just leave it about eighth of an inch right here. And then pull it. You wanna leave about that much of a gap right here, about uh, I would say more than half the length of the crimp. The reason why I'm going to show you in just a minute. Okay. Check your crimper. Leave it about eighth of an inch right here. Good crimp. Good crimp. Hold it. Let go. Okay. One more. Same thing. Uh, 
There we go. Now this won't go anywhere. Okay. Now your rig is complete. You have swivel, a crimp, you come down, and some beads right here. You have a snap swivel, some more beads, a small crimp, and then another big crimp, and then your hook. <coughs> okay, the reason why I, I, I said you don't need a big crimp right here is because that small crimp only bears the weight of your sinker. This is a spider sinker. So you pull the leg of the sinker out like this. Once it reaches the bottom and you give it a some line, it's gonna dig itself into the sand and it will hold itself in the current. Okay. So this is what the snap swivel comes into play. Just clip it on there, okay? And this will allow you to change uh, different different weight. Uh, depends on the currents that you uh, you fishing. <coughs> if you're fishing calm water, uh, I'd say three to four ounce is good. But if you're fishing with heavy heavy currents, uh, you might need up to ten ounce, okay? So how this rig is going to work is you cast it out, it's going to drop down to the bottom right here and then you, this will connect to your, your main line, either it's going to be mono or braid or whatever to your reel and once you reel it in like this, it's going to take it into the sand and this will stay stationary, okay? This, your bait is going to be right here, so once the fish took the bait it will have some time to run. See that? It's gonna run, it's gonna run. And by this time, the bait is already in its mouth. And once it's set right here, once it's get to, to this crimp right here, it's gonna hook itself. Okay, so the rib fish is gonna run, it's gonna take up the the, uh, the sinker, and it's, it's, it's game time. Okay, so the reason why I use big mono like 150 even sometimes I use 200 or 400 is you can grab onto the mono just wrap it around your hands a few times and you can grab the fish up like this you don't have to go all the way down especially you fishing the Texas City Dyke they have a lot of rocks out there so you don't want to you don't want to slip uh, into the water so you need something to be able to pull the fish up so the bigger the mono, the easier it is on your hands. Okay. Bonus tip. Grab yourself one of these leader bags right here. So this is actually used for fly fishing, but it works awesome for, for my leader. So every time I, I, I go, uh, you know, a day in advance, go to fishing, I would make all the different size leader. So you can see I have I have nine odds right here. I have ten odds, seven odds, eight odds, all the way down to six odds. Okay, so each of this bag I have two liters in there. So ten bags I have twenty liters. I'll, I'll be good for a day or two of fishing. And right here I even have my cable leader and shark hook in case I want to fish for shark. Okay, so remember how I said you you need to leave. A little little loop right here okay so imagine you're gonna you're going to cast your bait right if the bait is hanging down here and you have your uh, your weight up here one is gonna helicopter around mid-air so you're not gonna get as as far a distance and second no matter how good you hook the bait if you cast it like this, straight like this, it's gonna come flying off, especially shads and uh, other salt bait. <clears throat> so what you do with this little loop right here is you would set it on one of the leg of the sinker, just like this. 
Just hook it on like that. So now, when you go to do that again, set it on like that. Okay. So when you go to cast it, all the force of your cast is gonna be on the on the sinker on the weight. You see how you have slack line on your bait right here? Of the force of the cast gonna be on your sinker and the leg. And when it hits the water, it's gonna drop free. Because the bait is heavier, it's gonna drop down first. I mean the weight is heavier, it's gonna drop down first and the bait will follow. That is how it releases itself from the sinker. Again, this doing this way, your bait will always be on the hook. Because it's you're not pulling on the, the, the bait itself, you're pulling on the weight. And that will be it. That will be my tutorial on a red fish or big ugly leader. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.